Okay, so today's video is going to be me listing all the book series I have read throughout the years. So, this may take a while, or it may not. So, anyways, we should get, you know, into it. So, first things first, the first series I ever read was <laughs> T. Stilton and the Hollywood hoax, or, well, yes, T. Stilton, you know, T. Stilton's stories about the T. Sisters. So, yes, it's, they have different titles, but it basically follows these, wait, uh, these group of rodents that, this is a rodent world, so basically it follows these group of rodents, um, in their adventures they're incredible girls they have different uh personalities one that can fit basically each any girl so yeah and they are all narrated by t stilton which was their professor of journalism at a school and they named their group after their professor, which was T. Stilton. So they're called the T. Sisters. So yeah, that was the first series I ever read. I really liked them because they were like mystery themed, so they were really good. And I also, growing up, read the special edition version of the T sisters so they were hardcover and I think they come in paperback I'm not really sure but yes I read the special edition version which followed them to this crazy land of mystical creatures and wonders and i think this is the order but if it's not then uh you should look for the order if you want to buy them i do re definitely recommend them especially for young girls who are starting to get into reading they are really good and they have this amazing storylines and they're really interactive with the audience i'm not sure if this one was first or this one but yes anyways they have amazing lettering on the inside making it really interactive and like not at all boring to read so some words are in different fonts and they have different activities and they have beautiful drawings so they are perfect for any girl any little girl trying to get into reading so yeah i never completely finished the special edition uh series and the uh, other one which was the normal one from the two sisters because they were there were a lot i don't know if they have it here but yes there are a lot of adventures so that's why i never finished them these are all the books they come at the back blah, 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 blah. all the list so yeah Anyways, you could if you want to buy if you want to buy them, you just have to look for T. Silton uh, series, and there are there's even another one I think that was com that's completely different. But yes, these are great series for uh, young readers. So yeah. Anyways, T. Silton has a brother, and the brother has his own adventures, his own books that are like with this cover. With this type of cover and his own special edition series which is like for the kingdom of fantasy so yeah uh the special edition i only have three and they were like the last ones or they're not it's not the first what yes i think it's the first one yes this is the first one bing, bing, bing. and then this is the fifth and then this is the ninth but yes again these could be, you know, if you have a little girl, the T. Stilton ones are perfect. And if you have a little boy, the Geronimo Stiltons are another perfect one. Or, 
the girl could read this, the girl could read the original Arnimal Stilton, and the boy could read T. Stilton as well. It's just perfect because they're brother and sister, so yeah. Anyways, next series would be the Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So, I started reading this series because everyone at my school was reading it and I was like, you know, what's the big deal? And, you know, I didn't completely understand why everyone was reading it. I just knew it was very popular. So I told my mom, hey, I want to try these books out because, you know, everyone likes them. So let's see what they're about. And I read them and they were actually pretty good, good, good and cool. Um, yes, it's, it's weird because it's just about this kid narrating his stories, his life, which is a little miserable, but yes, I read it and I liked it, you know, it was, it's unique. So again, if you have any, like, cousin, uh, sister, brother, anything, who is starting to read, the Diary of the Wimpy Kid is a great series because it's it, again it's different on the inside. It's like drawings and then text, and it's from the perspective of the it's first po person point of view perspective from the main character. So yes, I don't have all of them. I don't have all the series. I stopped, but I have until book eight, and it was pretty good. And there are even more. So yes. Again, recommend it to any young boy and, or girl. Um, next series I read, which I just started reading recently, and it's the, like I'm waiting for the new book to come out, is da -da 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 -da, Max Einstein, which is about this girl who is called Max Einstein, and she doesn't really know who she is, but she's she knows she is very smart. She's even a professor at a university. And she embarks on this amazing adventure where she meets more kids her age who are just like her, who are brilliant and creative and, you know, fearless and imaginative, and all these amazing adjectives. And yeah, she, um, all the kids along with her work on these amazing um, projects to help the world become a better place because you know kids are the ones who are going to save the world and yeah i have the three books in the series um the first one was released in 2018 i believe and ever since uh it released i have followed the books my mom bought it for me and i love them so now i'm continuing the series so yeah I'm really looking forward to the next book. Anyways, next series is The Last Kids on Earth, which is also a Netflix series. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways, I found out about this book series because I was watching the uh, Netflix animated series because as you probably know or as you, if you don't know I am a big fan of animated series I just love them they have this I don't know this quality to them and like the newest uh, series that are coming out the newest animated series that are coming out the characters are so much more deep than you know the ones from other shows, from shows in the past, so yeah. Anyways, if you see the series, I definitely recommend watching, uh, reading the um, original uh, book series. I really, um, they're a bit different in some parts of the plot, but again, it's nice seeing the original material of a series you see or a see or a film you see, so yeah. Again, recommend it for any young reader. So, yeah. Um, next series I read, 
I have read. This is like in no particular order. This isn't like the first series I read or the second or anything like that. It's just a random order. So the next series I read, I have read. Um, I have read. I have read. Yes, is the Hunger Games. So yes, I I knew about the Hunger Games. I I knew I I knew for a while. And then I bought them because I wanted to, you know, read the books again. You always have to try out the source material because usually it's better than the film or the the new ver like the TV the one. So yeah, I tried it out and I liked the first book. I liked the second book don't know how to feel about mocking Jay since there are just these parts or these certain points in the book that I think went too quickly they it it, it, it they um, they just like forgot about them forgot about it or just didn't properly explore <laughs> anyways i will make a video soon or somewhere in the future about this book so i can explain better but yes i definitely recommend reading it because not everyone has the same book taste so if you like it then you sh so you should try it to see if you like it i'm just giving you my opinion so yeah again recommend reading it and last but not least, my favorite series of all time, Harry Potter. What? So we've got the first book, the second book, the third. You know, this reflection is really not helping, but I do need lighting because in some videos it looks too dark. So yeah, so basically Harry Potter is about this kid who is called Harry and it revolves around him discovering this amazing world and discovering that he's a wizard and you know just figuring out and going to um, who he is in this world, you know, what and what and he goes on these amazing adventures each book and by the final one we are nearing the confrontation of him versus a villain that I will not name if you do not know him which you should know because it's, it's a very popular series but yes um Goblet of Fire, big book and yes it revolves around him, his story and his life as well as his friends. So, yeah. Uh, wait. Wait. A fifth book, Order of the Phoenix. Sixth book, Apple Prince. And the final book in the series, Deathly Hallows. Ta da! So, yes, those were all the series I have read uh, in my lifetime so far. But yes, I am looking forward to learning about more series, um, reading them, and talking to you guys about them. So yes, that was everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you discovered new series that you might want to try out, which I definitely recommend trying out um, the one who looks more interesting to you. But yes, I will definitely um, write below the names of the series if, in case you want to try them out. So yeah, that's basically it. I will see you next time and bye.